Here's something fascinating. Cryonics isn't science fiction anymore. It's science in progress. Imagine this. You're frozen right after death, with the hope that future technology could bring you back to life. Sounds like a chilling version of time travel, right? Here's the science. At temperatures around minus 196 degrees Celsius, biological processes basically hit pause. This preserves cells with minimal damage, key for long-term storage. But here's the catch. We can't reverse the process yet. When water freezes, it expands, which can mean catastrophic damage to cells and tissues. Cryoprotectants, kinda like antifreeze for humans, help, but they're not perfect. Here's the big question though. What happens to the soul, or consciousness for that matter, if we're brought back to life centuries later? Now the theoretical hurdle is massive. Reanimating someone involves fixing cellular damage, reversing whatever condition caused death, and rebooting the nervous system like a biological hard drive. That's decades, or even centuries, away. Still, pioneers in cryonics are betting the future will work out the kinks. If this excites you, subscribe to HyperFocus for deep dives into advanced science, tech, and philosophy. Let's explore the edges of possibility together.